Hello guys, I welcome you back to the part 2 of our class on classification of computer. I still remain your teacher, Justice Bartholomew Obasi. By the end of the class, learners should be able to state the different basis of classification of computer and identify different types of computer and the class they belong to. Remember that in our previous class, in the part one of our class on this topic, we mentioned that computers can be classified based on size, data handling, function, and the usage. And in the part one of our class, we treated this classification based on size and data handling. So in, in this part two, we'll be looking into the classification of computer based on function and usage. So based on function, computers are classified into the following server, workstation, information appliances, and embedded computers. We'll take them one after the other. What are servers? Servers usually refer to computers that is set up and dedicated to providing one or more services to clients. Servers are named depending on the type of service they offer. For example, we have database server, which is dedicated to a database. We also have file servers, which are dedicated to manage large collection of computer files. And we also have web servers, which are dedicated to process web pages and applications. Many smaller servers are actually personal computers that have been dedicated to provide services for other computers. A server is expected to be reliable, secure, fit for running for several years, and giving useful diagnosis in case of an error. What is a workstation? A workstations are computers that are intended to serve one user and may contain special hardware enhancements not found on a personal computer. Today, the term workstation is used to describe desktop personal computers with high performance hardware. Such hardware is usually aimed at a professional rather than an enthusiast. For example, you may have a personal computer that has dual model, model dual processor motherboards, error correcting memory, and professional graphic cards. These are some of the features of a, a workstation. Information appliances. Information appliances are portable computers spe specially designed to perform a specific user-friendly function, such as playing music, photography, or editing text. The term is most commonly applied to mobile devices, though they are also portable and desktop devices in this class. And lastly, embedded computers. They are the computing devices which are used in other machines to serve limited set of requirements. They follow instructions from the non-volatile memory and they are not required to execute reboot or reset procedures. The processing units used in, in, embedded, in, in such devices work to those basic requirements only and are different from the ones that are used in personal computers. Alright, based on usage, computers can be classified into the following. One, public computer, two, personal computer, three, shared computer, and four, display computer. We'll take them one after the other. What is a public computer? Public computers are open for public uses. They are, there are many places one can use them, such as cyber cafe, schools, and libraries, Public computers are not expected to keep individuals' data files. They are normally 
secured with a firewall and restricted to run only the software that are installed in them. Users are not allowed to change system settings or operating system settings. Personal computer. A personal computer has one user who may also be the owner. This user often may use all hardware resources, have complete access to any part of the computer and have rights to install or remove software. Personal computers normally store personal files and often the owner or user is responsible for routine maintenance such as removing unwanted files and virus scanning. Shared computer. These are computers where different people might log on at different times. Unlike public computers, they usually have usernames and passwords assigned on a long-term basis with their files and the settings adjusted to specific accounts. Often, important data files will reside on a central file server so that a user can log on to different computers yet still see the same files. Such systems normally require a system administrator to set up and maintain the hardware and software. Display computer. Display computers are used just to display selected material, which can be audiovisual material or simple slide shoes in schools, shops, meetings or trade show. These computers may have more capabilities than they are being used for. They are likely to have Wi-Fi and so be capable of internet access, but are rarely secured with a firewall. Display computers are used and maintained as appliances and not normally used as the primary store for important files. In summary, we can say that based on function, computers are classified as servers workstation, information appliances, and embedded computers. And we can also say that based on usage, computers are classified as public computer, personal computer, shared computer, and display computer. In our exercise, learners should, one, briefly differentiate between a personal computer and a public computer. Two, mention at least three types of servers you know. And lastly, mention at least 10 types of information appliances you know. Thank you for your attention in this class. I do hope you have learned a lot of things. See you in other classes in our ICT service. Thank you. Bye.